Oh, it's a wonderful day. But there is some things I need to discuss with us today. He say it's gonna be a mind blowing. You know, it's all about favor. You know, sometimes I tell people that favor is not fair. Actually, favor is not fair. If you really understand what I mean, that favor is not fair. And uh, by the grace of God, we are going to really analyze one or two things. And people that God said they are favored in the Bible, maybe starting from Mary. So, <clears throat> beware when God announces favor on you because it doesn't look like it. No, as soon as he tell Mary you are highly favored, it's trouble that favored Mary at that time. As you know, you you have to understand the suspense of managing an issue with a rabbi, a, a teacher of the law, a holy man on a sensitive issue like Mary being pregnant and telling people it is ghosts that make me pregnant. And, and telling people, it is sometimes at that point, you don't need to tell people, uh, you don't need to explain yourself. You need to keep quiet. But imagine yourself explaining to people that ghosts make you pregnant, but I confess that I'm still a virgin. People are, are already angry. You need to manage the, the situation by silence. But it's not to say honestly, God knows. It's, God that made me, it's, it's a ghost that makes me silent. But God called that favor. Are you getting me now? <clears throat> God called trouble, catastrophe in life, favor. Joseph about to get married and losing his marriage and God called it favor. And he said you are highly, not just favored, highly favored. So you need to understand that. Now, do you know that or could it be that what you are going through right now is favor and god is saying there is a privilege because there is a monetary value of what you are going through and there will be a time that it's only people that go through what you go through that can stand the test of time there is a rank in the realm of the spirit there is a there is a a, a, a ladder there is a time you will stand somewhere and the condition to stand there is pain. And it's only people that gone through that particular persecution. They are the only people that can be, be called and say these people are highly favored. Because if you have not gone through that and stand on that level of pain, God will not call it favor. So what you are going through now may be favor for God. Because God wants to put you there. Let me use myself as an example. I have been in this country and I'm going through a lot of persecution and I'm still standing here. It's only those that go through what I go through that can come to this country from Africa and succeed. If you don't, I continue to be in the gap of that. Amen. Now, <clears throat> and now there is a place you are in trouble and God says stay there and he call it favor. Stay in that trouble. There are times you share a true a story. People wish that can be at your background and get that honor. But they can't get that honor because they have not gotten to that level. They want to be like you. But they need to pass through your pain to be where you are so that they can be favored also. You understand? So you need to understand that. So your pain today is... Is my way of favoring you. Your pain today is my favor to you. You must learn to interpret the favor that have come upon you in the realm of the spirit. You must know that. So, as a man of God, you start a church and they, they drive you, they cause a lot of things for you, and some people challenge you, and now and now no member is coming to you and you are crying that is favor that is favor sometimes it's the testimonies you share about how you start that make people to continue to invite you everywhere because that is favor god put you there to pass through it so that people can know you and invite you not everything that look negative is demonic you need you have to be men of the spirit to decide Joseph is in the pit 
and God call it progress. How do you explain being in a dry well as a progress? And the brother sell him to Ishmaelites. Sons of perdition, take him. Take him off to Egypt. Any other person will not take him to Egypt. Be because Egypt is a place of his blessing. And he go there. Joseph did not know that that pain was a preservation of a nation. Even in the Messiah was in the lungs of that Joseph in Egypt. Joseph get to Egypt. And he look as if things were going all right. All of a sudden, this woman come to create trouble. He was trusting that one day, maybe in Pharaoh's birthday, they will release some slave or some people. And here comes a woman that come to scandalize him and say, he come to rape me. And now, and now they say, okay, we have given you some privileges. And bam, they throw him into prison. You'll be surprised that because you are passing through, they drove you out of that shop. They drove you out of that house. Things are not working for you in that shop after this pandemic and they drive you out god knows because that is favor god, god that is favor do you know that some people when they see you crying that is when they will ask you what is it but when they see you smiling they will not ask you what is it so there is a pain that will drive you to favor because if you are smiling he will say bless you see you in church was it not because it's a disturbing dream that Joseph interpreted? If the dream was giving them joy, Joseph would not have anything to interpret. But Joseph looked at their countenance in the dream and said there is something wrong in them. And that is the ministry. There are people that their pain will call for your ministry. And there are people that your pain will call for their own ministry to help you. A nasty dream. And destiny collide with that. And, you know, Joseph, some people, people will start telling you, well, let me tell you my own problem here. But at the point, you stop sharing your problem and start seeing your problem as a source of blessing to you. Joseph also may tell them, I saw the sun, 11 stars bowing. And I think it will happen by by somebody carrying me maybe jacob carry him and say this is a destiny child no but the path of favor is not the path of favor and the path of greatness is so random so and sometimes god will do things so, so that satan himself will not know what god is doing there is a strategy i call the hidden wisdom of god nobody knows about it god conceal you and put you in a strategy that is the same thing that worked for moses you know they put moses in a basket and shipped him into the sea if satan no he will not allow that to happen he will not even the mysteries the demonic presence in front of pharaoh could have messed up things for moses but that is a hidden wisdom of god the dimension of hidden wisdom is what all of you need today. And that is why we walk by faith. We don't walk by sight. If everything that walk around you can be explained by sight and by men, that you say that where you are today, you will not be there. So God has to put some hidden things before he produ provides you or produce you. A time must come that people will say what is happening to you you say honestly i don't know all i know is that god is blessing me if all i know is that the dreams and visions i see have come to pass all i know is that i was sleeping i lay hand on people in the street all i know is that i wake up in the morning there is something that tell me go and pray for this sister there is something inside of me that say tell this sister tell this brother this you may not know it but am i expiring you today something is happening to you you are highly favored and the scandal will come and that scandal will be what will push you to do certain things one day 11 stars and moon will bow to you 
all of you that are hearing me today one day it will bow to you i tell you this all you need one day you will interpret people's dream that they will take you where you're supposed to be can i tell you something joseph did not prophesy he just prophesied interpreted the dream now whether joseph interpreted the dream or not what could have happened could have happened but joseph could have not been remembered so god has to put you in a position that people will remember you tomorrow that is the hidden wisdom of god <clears throat> the privilege of interpretation was what connected him to the favor but the man forget him after two years the man remember him i tell you after some time you'll be remembered you are going through something now that you cannot explain in every standard you cannot explain why you are passing through what you are passing through anytime you pray look as if that things are going so bad for you and people are asking you why is things like this he said i don't know there are many of us that god is about to put us in a different place but that is what i call favor i'm inspiring you today men will laugh at you but tomorrow the sun the moon and the eleven stars will bow it don't look like it now sometime they will call you and say you are a useless person you are following this african preacher you are following this african preacher what are you benefiting from this african preacher but one day moon and stars will bow to you that's what they call hidden blessing hidden wisdom and i want you to know that when god is silent learn to hear the voice of silence silence speaks when God is silent, he's still speaking. When I'm silent over some certain things happening over your life, maybe I'm not prophesying to you, you think that I have no prophecy for you, but silence speaks. We walk by faith. Not everything in your life can be explained. And if you allow carnal men to interpret your life, they will take you out of Egypt to go and meet your father, which will look like a testimony. But then you could have aborted something. <clears throat> now, if someone wants to help Joseph, is he going to help Joseph to be in Egypt or help him to go out of Egypt back to his father? Definitely, he will help him to go back to his father. But that will look like a testimony. Many of you are in prophetic embassy. You're supposed to be in prophetic embassy. So far in prophetic embassy and get the to your destination but somebody use bacchanal and take you out of prophetic embassy back to one place like that and you think that that is deliverance or favor no 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 he's taking you out of your destiny because if somebody want to help joseph you not take him to pharaoh he will take him back to jacob and jacob will say thank you that you have given me my son but israel will die jacob will die the covenant will die the covenant will never work beware of those who love you too much that will not allow you to get to your destiny there are people who have, that love you too much they look at what you are doing they look at what you are going through they look as if they love you too much to come and help you but listen to me it can work like that because sometimes you are almost there and devil will bring somebody to come and take you out of that place satan can use certain attributes about people to 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 manipulate you he can use a man's contraction to 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 destroy you look at what happened to peter peter was so passionate about jesus that he began to rebuke jesus and jesus called him satan if you are not a man of spirit you will say that jesus is harsh he said get it behind me satan that is not compassion he used the vulnerability of peter the the the, the heart warm heart of peter to manipulate Jesus not to go to the cross. You see what I mean? Pass through whatever thing you need to pass through. Listen to me. God is still calling it favor. Favor is not always positive money, celebration. Or that. There are different ways of favor. Favor. <clears throat> there is a realm God is passing you. By the time he gets you to that dimension, he's going to sit you on a seat that no Body will bring you down. I've been there. Do you know the pain I passed through to be in this country? Do you know the money I lose to be in this country? Do you know how much I've used spent to be in this country? It's called dimension. 
There are people that buy tickets for me only once. That they buy tickets for me to come and help their family. And they are telling the whole trainer that they are buying tickets for me. And there is somebody that bought tickets for me two times. And the person may be thinking he has been buying tickets for me all his life. And he can be saying anything. Listen to me. When God put you in my life, he didn't put you in my life to control me. He put you in my life for you to be favored. He put you in my life for me to take you to your destiny. He put, me in, my, he put you in my life for me to guide you. Or for you to pass pain of sacrifice. To get your own testimony. Nobody sponsors God. God is too big for you to sponsor him. I'm telling you. So, beware when God announces favor on you. Because he doesn't actually use like it. Because as soon as he tells Mary you are highly favored, that is when Mary has problem. So, I have to tell you this. Satan can use anything to remove you. He can use your good mind to make you give people that you are not supposed to give money, money. People that are God is training over money. I tell you this thing some time ago. I tell you that God tell me not everybody you give out your money to. Because some people I'm training them financially and now you want to go and help them you are trying to help them is that you are trying to stop my my training on them and that money you can be blessed you are not as you die as you die listen pass through whatever thing you need to pass through undoing it will not make sense pass through it god said is favor favor does favor is favor but there are pathways that is so rare and god is passing you through that in order to take you to your favor seat and i see some of you that will sit on a seat that no power will bring you down the pain you are going through today is a track record there are men today god is prospering them today because of their story they go all around the world, aspiring people with this story they got many years. Are you not tired of this story? Because nobody have that kind of story. They are traveling around the world sharing the same story. Until you find a worthy replacement, that man rep remains at the top. But when he was passing through that story, nobody saw it. They, in, even the person never knew that there is, that story have a monetary value. I've seen people that go around sharing testimony in conferences and they are inviting him all over the world. Every year they are inviting him and people are saying, why is he being invited and he's sharing the same story? Joseph said, search for a man that is so honest, he's trying to dear Pharaoh in the realm of the spirit, I dare you look for such and so person that have my testimony. He was just using a polite way to dear Pharaoh, search if there is any man that has been scandalized like me. Such if there is any man that have spent such money I spent to come to Trinidad. Such if there is any man that have the kind of heart I have. Such if there is any man that can come here and deposit his money on ground. And the king said, there is no man. Have you seen where I am, where I am today? Have you seen where I am, where I am today? <clears throat> there are people that come here. They can pass through what I pass through. They come take the money and go. They come do it. But I come, I put in my best here. Such. Nobody can come and succeed the way I succeed if he didn't pass through this, the pain and the, the struggles I passed through to be in this country. I dare you. This is very important. We have to be very careful. There is a platform God is putting a lot of you to. So make sure you are in that platform and your life will not remain the same. I want to let you know, sometimes favor road is not the kind of road you are looking up to. But favor road is the best road for you. I dear you today, I want you to know when God announced favor on your life, God announced trouble. And I want you to know that the, the seat of favor is not an easy seat. Because some of you are going to sit on this seat of favor. Some of you will sit on the seat of favor after all this pandemic and after all this trouble get ready to sit on the seat of favor that is just the message i want to pass to us today my name is commander csi i still remain a talking spirit bye for now